So let's say, for example, I have these um, sort of like a data, and most of the time your data is already existing in the database. So um, so I have this particular database, right? So which the table right there, let's say, for example, I have, um, well, this, this one is, uh, let me just use the one that is a bit um, at care. Let's use this one. So let's say I have this um, particular table, yeah so and um, so if i drag that table right in there as well and just to be sure that i don't have to be correcting an error i just want the database name to be there um so i uh, we then have uh, let's say we are selecting um top 10 or something like that for now so from yeah so and if i if i run these you can see that that's what I get, right? So let's assume I am, yeah, I'm not going to write any complicated, um, you know, uh, SQL here, but let's say I'm taking this into, I'm taking this, I want to use this in Microsoft Excel. So I'll copy my, of course, well, before I do that. Um, so let's say I have my new spreadsheet open. So there are two ways to do it, actually. So one way is to go, um, is to go uh, data, and then get um, data and then of course use SQL Server to, from database there. Um, yeah, so when that comes, um, it gives me the option uh, to be able to put the database name and all of those. So the server, yeah, so, so the server, I actually got the server name. Of course, you need to know the server name either from connect there, yeah, database engine there, so you'll be able to see your database name. Uh, so I can actually copy it from there, right? So I copy it from there, and then I'll put the database name right here, and then I've got the database um, name in terms of like op optional, but well, I could just do that straight away as well. So let's say the database name uh, is this one at care so I can just actually type that in uh, um, L care so and um, the, then the advanced option is whether I have the SQL written already so which is that so I could copy that and then I could paste it here so which means if I do okay it should just bring that into the um, spreadsheet for me. So let's say as a data analyst, I got a request for data and I have to get that data. You, I'm, I'm not the database um, SQL server, it's just a place where the information is stored. So you're not going to use that to send the data to somebody that requests for data. You need to have it pop it in the, in Excel um, and then you can then have the uh, yeah, so load, I can just load it. I don't want to do any form of transformation. So this is more like Power Query type thing, really. And um, so you can see now, that is there. And the notes here, you have queries, you have connection, right? Query connection. So it's come through query, but you can actually do it through connection as well. So connection right there, you could go and do data again and then you can do existing uh, connections, yeah? So I've already got this connection there, but assuming these are not there, so what you would do is to go, if I select one of these, I can just use it to connect, but assuming this is, these are not there, what you would do ideally would be to browse for more, and then when you browse for more, again, assuming these are not there, you would go to connect, to new database, data source. So, and then I'll do open, and then you then have that SQL, uh, Microsoft SQL Server there, you go next, and then you can put the database name as well again. Uh, so, which is the one I showed you earlier on, how to get that, and then I can then go um, pop that in, that's the server name, um, and then and then, yeah, so you then got this. So where do you want the data? Where is the data coming from? It's coming from Edcare, isn't it? And then you got the all this uh, uh, database there where you can just, you know, and just got that there. 
um, or whichever one that it is that you want the data from select that next and then right here it's just finish so and as soon as you do it you have option to whether you want table or you want pivot uh, table um, I mean I could you do pivot table actually and then I'll do okay and then yeah so that's it really so I can then do whatever I need to do with that in right in here so and uh, yeah so that's the way to to be able to just you know to be able to bring your data uh, from SQL uh, and this is something very very common that you do regularly but because this is once you connect it once really the rest is surely easier so and this data connection as well so if I double click on this right it gives me option to be able to for recording purpose just in case somebody is get hold of this and they need to work with it in my absence it's easier if I document it properly maybe cardio vascular um, maybe data or something like that and then you could put description if you want and in there as well uh, here definition this is where the uh, so for now is the table right so I could change this to SQL. Most in most cases, you want to change it to SQL. You want to have it as SQL rather than just this table name, right? So because this table, like imagine if it's a big table that have a lot of data, that we actually take a long time to actually import anyway. So you could um, write your SQL, yeah, SQL script, and um, so and you know here because you change that to SQL, you could write your pop your SQL that you can see that this one if you take note this is definitely going to change yeah so I want that change you can see now that it's changed because I now have a SQL so and each time so you could duplicate this file as well if you have another request whereby you use the same file to be able to just change the script and change the description and then here you go so you are able to just you know you're able to use it for something else you can 